<laughs> in this video, I share the best gifts to give the RVer in your life, including two super cool options for the one that you really love. Welcome to my channel. I'm Liz Amazing, and these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you'll definitely live amazing with these creative and awesome gifts, whether you give them to RVers or keep them for yourself. I, in fact, own everything on the list and just can't wait to share them with you. But first, I want to give out a special thanks to the A team for all your well wishes and support. Many of you know that I broke my hand a few weeks ago. I actually broke it in three places as a solo traveler that meant especially quite a big deal so thank you for your wishes of support your prayers your emails your comments and honestly I'm so grateful for all the campers on the road who have been helping me I'm healing nicely and I'm counting down the weeks until the splint is off my hand. Well, I've been RVing since the 90s and in fact, I'm on my seventh camper. I've been full-time for over a year and these gadgets and gizmos really have made my life easier and make the perfect gift for the RVer in your life or for something that you could keep yourself. I have put a link in the description to every product so you can just click on it and learn more. Let's get started. This is a digital laser infrared thermometer. This will read the surface temperature of anything that you aim it to. It even has like a laser point so you can see exactly where you're monitoring. Now, RV fridges tend to be really wimpy, so I used it in my freezer to tell exactly where the coldest area is. For in my for my fridge, it was the back left corner, so that's where I keep the ice cream. And then the inside left door is actually the warmest place, so I don't even keep anything there. But one of the most important uses for a digital infrared thermometer is for trailer tires. So driving down the road, the trailer tires can actually overheat and cause a blowout. Well, you do not want a blowout on your trailer, on your camper, your travel trailer, because it will actually cause some serious damage to the camper. So while you're traveling, this is a great tool to just monitor the tires for safety. So when you're RVing, the whole weather becomes way more important than when you live in a house. You're so vulnerable to high winds, heavy rains, any kind of severe weather, hail, tornadoes, all that kind of thing. You're just super vulnerable. So a weather radio becomes really important. Now I've gone through a couple before finding this one, which is just awesome. It has a generator that you hand crank. It's solar powered. It'll charge a cell phone. It'll plug in, run on batteries, has a flashlight, but the best thing about it is it has an alarm. I can set it on the alarm and then anytime there's a weather alert I get notified. So when you get this be really careful where you set it up. The first time I set it up I put it in the kitchen. Well the alarm went off in the middle of the night and I staggered out, turned it off, and went back to bed. Fortunately, I was camping with friends and they knocked on the door and let me know a tornado was coming and so I went and, and sheltered in the bathroom. I highly recommend it. It really could save your life. One of my favorite things is this weather station and it makes for the perfect gift. It has a remote to give you the outside temperature. I love this big screen display. I can actually see it from all the way across my rig, probably 20 feet away. It also gives an actual forecast and it gives you the moon phases as well as having an alarm clock. The screen is dimmable, which is also handy. It plugs in or runs on batteries, but the best thing for campers is that you never have to set the time. It adjusts automatically. Well, every camper needs a super comfy camp chair. This is a zero gravity chair, and honestly, I did not think I would like them. It wasn't until I tried a neighbor's and I was like, oh my gosh, zero gravity chairs are the best. So this is the Timber Ridge Zero Gravity Patio Lounger. It is padded, it has a headrest, and it will lock in any position from fully laid back to anywhere between that and upright. It has wooden armrests and it has a side cup holder. The best thing about it is it folds up, making it super portable if you wanna take it to your neighbor's campfire. Water quality is a big concern if you have an RV. You should have a filtration system that covers your whole rig, 
plus a second system just for drinking water. I have had water come out of the tap looking pretty bad, and that can be if the campground site hasn't been used for a while. But the bigger concerns are for the impurities you can't see. That's why I love the Zero Water 10 Cup Water Filter Pitcher. The Zero Water Pitcher is not your typical water filter. It removes 99.6% of the impurities from the water. But here's the thing, you can actually see it for yourself. It comes with a tester. Now I have seen this go as high as 600 at some of the campgrounds that I'm at. This one right here is showing pretty good. It's like 133. And then you run it through the filter. So here it is coming right from the filter. You can see how well it's doing. And we're down to about 19. I really love how it will fit into my fridge so it's not taking up precious counter space. Now I have a 12 cubic feet fridge, but this exact picture will fit into an eight cubic feet RV fridge. Now in both cases, you'll probably have to remove a shelf from the door, but that is okay by me. The Anderson Leveler Kit is the best thing ever and they make such a great gift. Most people are using blocks and they're spending a lot of time trying to line up blocks and figure out what they need. This way is just so easy. All you do is you drive up on them. You need a set for the number of axles that you have on your camper or trailer, but you're only leveling on the low side. So if you have two axles, you need two sets and you'll just use them on one side. Well, as an RVer, you know how important it is to check your tire pressure before going on a trip. It took me months to find the right tire inflator, and I'm super excited to have found the Ryobi cordless tire inflator. It's so easy to use, it's almost fun. It actually will deliver up to 150 PSI. That's important because travel trailer tires do require a higher tire pressure. I like how I can monitor on the gauge the exact tire pressure. No more fighting with the hose. Traditional vinyl hoses are difficult to deal with. They kink and they can be really hard in the cold weather. You actually kind of fight with them. The zero G hoses are so easy to use. They're lightweight and they take up a lot less space. They're also puncture resistant and they will not kink. A headlamp is a thoughtful gift for the camper in your life. The Dorsey adjustable headlamp has several light settings and makes working in the dark a whole lot easier. And at only about $5, this thoughtful gift is also affordable. Well, I love my hiking shoes so much that they are in need of replacement. I've had these for about four years and have gone to over 20 national parks with them. They're perfect day hikers for walking on hiking trails, but also they are waterproof. So even if you don't do any hiking at all, you need a good pair of waterproof shoes for setting up in the rain, for dewy grass, or any other kind of inclement weather. After four years and many miles of hiking, they are just now starting to come apart at the seams. So I'm getting ready to buy another pair myself. These are Merrill Moab waterproof hiking shoes. So there are two things that I highly recommend to give the RVer that you really love. And one is the GoPro Hero 8. This little camera will shoot video and stills and it's just perfect for the person on the move. You can use them for hiking or biking. You can stick them onto a helmet. You can get a chest strap to put it on your chest at, well, if you're jogging or hiking. They have really good image stabilization and they just take great pictures. They also have a time-lapse ability so you can set it outside and capture sunrise, sunset, or use it to capture the travel video as you're driving down the road. I also have the Hero 7 and I have to say the Hero 8 is a big improvement. They've put in a new side door making changing batteries easier and it's also easier to swap mounts. And the other gift that I recommend for the RVer that you really love is a drone. Most of you know I'm a professional drone pilot and I use the Mavic Pro. If you're just flying for fun, I recommend the Mavic Mini. They're fun little drones and you can just capture where you are. Most campers I know really want to capture their campsite and all the beautiful scenery where they're camping.
<laughs> well, happy gift giving. I also want to invite you to join the A team. This is the community we're building where we help support and inspire each other to live amazing. And if you liked this video, you'll love the next one. I'll see you in the next video.